Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Hello viewers. My name is Muhammad Atik Anwar and you are watching uh, my channel. Uh, I am at the present moment outside Crowwood Park which was requested by uh, many people and we are now going to go uh, back to Halifax but I had another request from uh, a lady called Rachel White who lives in Leeds and she spent her childhood in Halifax you don't tell me the year but you went to Tewell Lane Infant School okay so um, I'll try and f uh, find it I think it's on the main road okay and uh, then uh, of course if we go f right to the end of Tule Lane we will be back on uh, Burnley Road which is our way uh, back to Halifax so let's turn uh, the cameras around so as you can see uh, the Crowwood Park to our left so a very busy road so I'll try to move off okay so we're approaching uh, the roundabout at the top of uh, uh, Sorby and to the left of us is the Sacred Heart uh, St. Patrick's Church Okay, so There are many many requests for Sorby uh, To walk along the canal So hopefully when I have the time it will be something that I do but at the present moment, you know the uh, list is really uh, still quite uh, quite lengthy so we're in Sorby now uh, viewers so when I uh, showed you the, <coughs> the computer center that's actually on the left there So this says Sorby. This is its main uh, main street. So once again, I've chosen a, a busy part. So as you can see, many many Victorian buildings, and the building to our left uh, is a beautiful chapel that is well I know it got used as a cinema many years ago but I don't know what it is now I think here that someone has uh, opened it as a cinema so another beautiful church in the background there To the left of us is where the canal is and here you see many period buildings so I need to bear right We're approaching Tule Lane. Uh, I think I got the cinema wrong. This is the cinema on the left. It's a cafe as well now. Okay, so we're about to enter Tule Lane viewers. School is just further up here. So 
hopefully you can feel that you know we are climbing up towards uh, the next valley and that can be seen from Burnley Road see the school there it is so if I can find a parking spot Okay, Rachel, I'm uh, at uh, the school now, so hopefully uh, you will recognise the area. You didn't tell me exactly where you live, just that you lived in uh, Sorby. So I'm going to get out of the car when it's uh, safe to do so, but as always, it's very, very busy. So I'm outside the car, uh, viewers and Rachel. So that's the journey that we've made. This is Kewl Lane and when I get back in the car we're going to carry on uh, right up there and do a right turn back to uh, Halifax and the railway station. So this is what's been uh, requested by uh, Rachel. This is the, uh, it says infant school, so that this is the school. So I mean you did say that you left uh, Halifax when you were about six, so uh, this uh, would uh, still have been an infant school, no doubt. So I'll show you the school from uh, further down, uh, Rachel and viewers. So this is the school, and this is some beautiful Victorian uh, properties, which were no doubt built at a similar time. Uh, to this so a lot of schools built uh, after 1850 I would assume this will be in the late 1800s 1880 or something like that it really is a splendid building so I'm right in the into the street Rachel and viewers and one can only admire the ordinateness. So what I'll do is I'll go across the road. So in that direction is uh, Crowwood Park that we have just uh, come uh, across from. So you asked me to show you a view of uh, Clay. What is it called? Clay Street, I think. So I'll just stand here and show you Clay Street. So it starts here and going right across there. So I hope that's jogged memories for you, uh, Rachel. So I'm going to go back into the car now, viewers, and we will go back to Halifax. So I'm back on uh, the main road, viewers. As you can see, the beautiful valley down there. There is the school, and just over here, we got this uh, wonderful building that's now used as a funeral service, but I think it was used uh, as a chapel of rest. So as you can see, lots and lots of residential areas. So that's what we will be doing into the top of the road. And back to Halifax. <coughs> I'm back in the car now, viewers, and we will move off and uh, go towards uh, Burnley Road and make our way back to Halifax. So I 
once we get a little bit further you'll be able to recognize King Cross. This is Burnley Road. I need to do a right from here. So if to the left is uh, Todmorden, sorry Hebden Bridge, Todmorden and then Burnley. A very, very busy road. And we have negotiated it. Okay, so we're on Burnley Road now, viewers. Making our way back to Halifax. So this is the heart of Sorby. So we're sort of a one level up the valley, as it were. To the right here, unfortunately the road is closed, but that is where the high school is and there are many, 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 many requests for that as well, <coughs> including uh, our dear friend uh, Richard, so I will get round to it eventually. So as I said, I'm not making any promises, but my list is way too long really. And there are uh, what I call easier places. We're heading towards uh, Pine Nest now, viewers. once again so the valley that you see up there that of course is um, uh, Gibbet Street and uh, Wally Road so we're almost uh, to what King uh, <coughs> was Hopefully you were able to see uh, Wayne House Tower. So when we come off the carriageway there are two roads. This one called Burnley Road and the bottom one. It's got a few names. Starts off as uh, Pine Nest Road and then eventually becomes a uh, Rochdale Road. I really do like this sunshine. So this is King Cross Road now. Uh, viewers and we need to go uh, straight on and we will go through town and eventually down uh, down Horton uh, Road let's get into the right lane of the carriageway. This is signposted town centre. To the right of us is our main Tesco store. To the left of us is my part of the world. Uh, it is Queen's Road and that takes us right to the other side. The various areas of population in between uh, we are split into what's called two wards town and st uh, sorry it's called park now used to be called 
Saint John. Sorry, I wasn't able to uh, turn off the camera there, viewers. It uh, the the sun was shining on it, so I always find it difficult to find the right button. But we're making progress now, and uh, we're a lot further on. On uh, King Cross. <coughs> so as I say, summer means roadworks. Uh, they're uh, relaying the phone cables or the Wi Fi. Virgin Media to the left of us is Parkinson Lane, which of course starts off with Calderdale College, and there is a request for Parkinson Lane Junior School, so I may do that in the near future. To the left of us is People's Park. Park Road so we need to go into town which means a left turn going ahead would have meant uh, going to Booth Town etc so many iconic buildings here I don't know whether you can see it on the left is the uh, wonderful playhouse so all these 18th 19th century buildings the second right there is the iconic Courier building. It is now uh, uh, apartments. We're just passing Hopwood Lane viewers and going towards uh, Bull Green, which of course has this uh, roundabout that we're going to go around. And now in Bull Green viewers. So as you can see many people enjoying themselves, enjoying the sun. We're on Fountain Street now viewers. Once again with its wonderful Victorian buildings that we have and the best being uh, the theatre on the uh, left hand side known as uh, the Victoria Theatre so we are nearing uh, yet another journey the viewers I do hope you enjoyed here the uh, areas I do hope the people that requested uh, enjoyed so this is part this was part two uh, the first part Costa Crowwood Park requested by many people and the second one Tule Lane Infant uh, School requested by Rachel Rachel White So just past Ward's End and this is now Horton Street. So hopefully all these areas are familiar to you now. start to say goodbye thank you once again thank you for watching 
please keep watching please uh, watch uh, fully do look after yourselves and look after others until the next time I say goodbye اپنا خیال رکھنا دعا میں یاد رکھنا میں آپ کے لیے دعا کرتا رہوں گا زندگی ہوئی تو پھر ملیں گے Allah Hafiz